Good morning, Bristow Middle School. We're here today with another math lesson. Our learning target is, what is a unit rate? We're really focusing today on that vocabulary of a unit price. Your cousin shops for movies online. He sees three different offers. Which offer should your cousin choose? Explain your reasoning. So if I was going grocery shopping or shopping at Target or wherever, I would see these sales and I was like, oh, look, they all say sales, so I should buy them. But which offer is going to be the best? How am I going to get the best value for my money? What has the best unit price? So for the $15 for two movies, I don't think that one's too hard to figure out. You're just going to take $15 and divide it by two, and that's going to give you the cost for each movie. So each movie there is going to cost $7.50. Well, if I take that same idea and I figure out the rest of them, then I would do $36 divided by five, which is going to give me $7.20 each. And then four movies divided by 29, which is going to give me $7.25 each. So the best value is actually buying more movies. But it just depends on what you want to do with your money. A unit price is a unit rate that gives the price of one item. So it's the price per item. So when we look at the first one, we have three shirts for $18. So we can do $18 divided by three shirts or 18 over three. For every three shirts, it costs $18. And then we have the unit price, which is $6 for every shirt or $6 per shirt. Remembering that one and per mean the same thing. Finding unit price with whole numbers to find a unit price, we write the ratio with the total price in the numerator, total number of items in the denominator. Then we find an equivalent ratio with the denominator of one by dividing. So we can divide both of them by the total number of items. Notice when you divide the total price by the total number of items to find the unit price. Since the denominator of the equivalent fraction is one item, you can write the unit price as price per item. So our example, $10 for one book is going to be $10 per book. We're going to do a little bit of practice here. What's the unit price of each item? So we take a look at the first item. It's $30 in it for five movie tickets. So we're going to take that $30 over five, making it into a ratio. We're going to divide both terms of our ratio by five. And then we're going to get divided by five and we're going to get six dollars. Then we're going to do the same thing with the pair of jeans. It costs seventy five dollars for three pairs of jeans. So we make that into a ratio seventy five over three divide both terms of our ratio by three and we get twenty five. For each pair of jeans, twenty five per pair of jeans. Okay. Notice in my table how I'm showing how we're doing what we're dividing by what to get the unit price. Then on the last one, we have $10 for four birthday cards or $10 for every four birthday cards. We make that into a ratio, divide both terms of our ratio by four, and then that's going to equal the price per card, which is going to be $2.50. This is a practice problem for you, so make sure that you do this one in your notes before you check the uh, next part of the video so you can pause here. A sports Store sells five baseballs for $12.50. What is the price per baseball? So remember, if you were making a table for this, you would do the price first, then the quantity of baseballs. So you could do the price divided by the number of baseballs. So we could do price over the number of baseballs in a ratio, divide both by the number of baseballs, and we get the unit price, which is $2.50 per baseball. Let's practice a little bit with decimals. So remember, you could always use a calculator on these. To find the unit price of each item, divide the total price by the number of items. See how this table is set up and make sure you're setting up your tables the same way. Go price first, then quantity, and it will remind you to divide it in that way. Looking at the first one, $4.50 for five pens. So the price over the quantity it's going to be 90 cents per pen. Then we look at the pencils, $1.14 for six pencils, price over the quantity, that's going to be 19 cents per pencil. And paper clips, 
So we have the price divided by the number of paper clips, and it's an eighth of a cent. So let's look at how that would look for unit price. So we don't talk about money that way. We're going to talk about what that is in just a second. So just a reminder, when we did A, the pen, we divided 450 by 5, and we got 90 cents. We divided in B, pencils, $1.14 by 6, and we got 19 cents. And for the paper clip, we divided 40 cents by 50, and that gave us 0 0.008, or an eighth of a cent. Well, we don't talk about money that way. We don't have thousands of cents. So what we would say is that is approximately, that's that symbol, approximately one cent. Let's do another um, practice problem. A pack of six bottles of a sports drink sells for $4.50. What is the unit price of one bottle of the sports drink? If I was setting at my table, I would go price, then quantity. Okay. If I'm setting it up as a ratio, I'm going to go price over quantity. Remember that we're doing that division there, and you can use a calculator. So we're going to get 75 cents per bottle. So find what we're doing now is we're going to be comparing unit prices. So you're going to find the unit price of each container of orange juice, then compare the unit prices. So the price on the first one, uh, the 64 ounce container is $3.20 for 64 ounces. We would do that division and get five cents per fluid ounce. The second one is 96 ounces for $5 and 76 cents. And so we would have $5 and 76 over 96 and we would get six cents per fluid ounce. And the third one is 32 ounces of orange juice for $2 and 56 cents, which would give us eight cents per fluid ounce. So based on those unit prices, we're going to contain, we're going to order the containers from best to worst buy. So our best buy is going to be a 64 ounce, then the 96, and then the worst one is the 32 ounce. You really do have to check those containers in the grocery store because sometimes the biggest one is the best value and sometimes the smallest one is the best value. We're going to try one more comparing. Four of your friends buy album downloads online. Lana buys one album for $8.95. Kyle buys two albums for $17. Joe buys three albums for $30, and Amy buys four albums for $44. Which friend gets the best buy? We're going to figure that out by taking the price divided by the number of albums. So for Ilana, it's $8.95 per album. Joe, it's going to be $10 per album. Kyle is $8.50 per album, and Amy is $11 per album. Make sure you've circled the correct answer in your notes. That's going to be Kyle. He's going to get the best deal. But Alana's is not going to be too far behind him. A movie theater offers different ticket packages. Order them by unit price for a ticket from greatest to least. So you have a four pack for $25, a two pack for 12, or a five pack for 32. You're going to complete this one in your notes. In summary, a unit rate is a ratio where one of the terms is one. Unit rates can be used to compare values, such as prices. Until next time, keep practicing because practice makes permanent.